What's going on everybody? It's the Bull Show, aka Aiden, and welcome back to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be talking about Game 2 and the meaning behind this win in Game 2, the confidence that it can bring and the certain situations that it brings to the Chicago Bulls heading into the future of this series. By no means am I saying this is going to be, I guess, the turnaround of the Chicago Bulls we need to win this entire series. At the end of the day, we've put ourselves in a great position, but that's all we've done. We've got new goals to accomplish. We've got to defend home court with true passion, determination and grit, knowing that Milwaukee will be desperate to get one on our home turf as well. So we do have a lot to work with, but at the end of the day, as much as game one and game two, there were some goods and some bads in the situation that we're in at the moment, we put ourselves in a good situation. I'm very happy about that, at least at this point for now for the Chicago Bulls. But before we get started, Please like and subscribe to The Bull Show. Turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about the current Chicago Bulls team. What do you think our chances are heading into the next game, Game 3 and Game 4? Do you think we can win both games at home and defend home core? Because if we can do that, all of a sudden, we're at a 3-1 lead against the Milwaukee Bucks and those are very hard uh, games for Milwaukee to come back from. Not impossible, as, we, as we've seen pretty much most of the seasons, some teams can come back or usually do come back from 3-1 deficits, but it's very difficult to do, and I'd hope this team can finish the job and we can do that. But home court's very important, ladies and gentlemen, and in my opinion, the goal for the Chicago Bulls is to try and win both of those games at home. And the reason why is Game 2 brought a lot of confidence and a lot of positivity around this Bulls team and what we can truly do when we put our minds to it. And that's very important for us. So I want to talk about the implications and the importance for the Chicago Bulls. One, this is our first playoff win with this team. It might not mean much. It might mean a lot to some of you guys, but at the end of the day, we haven't been in the playoffs for five years. Almost every single one of these team, or pretty much every single one of these players has not been in the playoffs with the Chicago Bulls before. It's a whole new different team since the last time we made the NBA playoffs with that Jimmy Butler, Dwayne Wade, Rajon Rondo team that made the eighth seed, almost upset the Celtics, but things kind of got in the way with that. But when it comes to the Chicago Bulls, a whole brand new team, brand new players, brand new coach, brand new chemistry, brand new front office, everything's brand new. And the first win is always going to be the most important for the Chicago Bulls because it will take us into, I guess, a better standing within our own confidence levels and just the fact that we're able to get it out of the way. Some teams, when they enter the NBA playoffs, it's hard to get that win straight away. And when we're able to do something like that, it's over now. It's done with. We got that first win. We know what it's going to take. We know what it's going to feel like to win in the NBA playoffs. And that's something that we've got to keep in, our, in the back of our minds in every single game now. We've done it before. We can do it again. As Stacey King has said numerous times with this Chicago Bulls team, Milwaukee are not unstoppable. They are not unbeatable. And the fact that we can now see that with our own eyes and we can perform with our own style to walk away with a win against Milwaukee, look, we might lose the series. We might not lose the series. But at the end of the day, that is something that's going to carry over with us, not into just into this year, but into the years to come as well. Knowing that we battled with the reigning world champions and we got a game from them. We could potentially get more games from them as well. That's the confidence booster that's going to take us beyond just this season. So that's the first reason why it's important. Second reason why it's important is obviously the most obvious one is that we took home court advantage from the Milwaukee Bucks, at least for now. So how it goes now is if you're not if you're new to the playoffs, is winning a game on the road pretty much indicates if we win it all of our home games and Milwaukee win their next home game, we have the chance to end the series at the United Center. And that means we have home court advantage over the Milwaukee Bucks. However, if they are to win one of the games on the road, pretty much Milwaukee will have to win a road game in order to beat the Chicago Bulls. So whether it's game three, game four, or game six, they're going to have to beat us on the road if they want to take the series from us, which is very interesting. And it puts us in a good position, as I said before. So we'll wait and see if we we can defend home court because that's going to be huge for the Chicago Bulls and in just terms of how the NBA playoffs has always been when you do win that road game you put yourself in a better position to win the series so that's great for the Chicago Bulls three the confidence levels of these guys now knowing that they beat an elite team is very 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 important as well if we were to get swept in this series and we still didn't beat an elite team or at least when they were I guess you could count Boston as an elite team, but 
We did beat Boston when they were not really at their finest either. And maybe Brooklyn, you could consider an elite team as well at the time. Who really knows? But in terms of the elite teams that have been relatively the same, we have not been able to beat those types of teams like the Miami Heat, the Milwaukee Bucks, um, teams on the West like the Warriors and the, and the Grizzlies, stuff like that. You get it. I don't need to name every single team. But we just beat the Milwaukee Bucks. Granted, there are a couple of things that got in the way for Milwaukee, but you take what you're given in this league. And we walked away with the win on the road. That's a lot of confidence. That puts the belief in the Chicago Bulls team. So very important there as well. And the last thing is that a lot of the complaints that we have as a team, um, we're not seeing in the NBA playoffs at the moment. I don't think we're heavily undercoached in this series right now. I think the coaching staff is actually doing fairly well. And I really like the idea of switching up some of the matchups and switching up some of the... I guess coverage is on this team. It's putting Milwaukee off guard a lot. I feel like Billy Donovan and the coaching staff are not doing too bad whatsoever in this playoff series. And again, from game one to game two, we've seen massive step ups from DeMar DeRozan, from Zach Levine, from Vucevic, from Patrick Williams, from Alex Caruso. And that's the level that we're gonna have to keep on maintaining if we wanna keep on walking away with wins. I think this is one of the best games I've seen for the majority of the year, especially in the late stretches of March and April. This is one of the best games I've seen from the Chicago Bulls. You could put the Clippers game in there because we made a miraculous comeback. We walked away with the win in overtime. But in terms of from start to finish, we saw a completely different team than what I saw in March and April. We started off the game in a 9-0 run. We started the fourth quarter with a 9-0 run. I haven't seen that in a long time for the Chicago Bulls. We're often the team that likes to play catch-up. We're often the team that has to fight from underneath the whole game to walk away with the win with the fourth quarter performances that we provide. Today was the complete opposite with that. We had the control for most of that game. We were in the lead for most of that game and we walked away with the win that was rightfully deserved from that game. Many people will say we should be 2-0 up, up in this series as well, considering we had a couple of chances to finish Milwaukee off in Game 1 and we weren't able to do it. Hindsight's a beautiful thing, of course it is, but at the end of the day, we are where we are. The cards that we've been dealt are the ones we have to deal with. And Game 1 was a game we could have won, but Game 2 is the game that we did win, and we're still in a fantastic position, and the importance of that position cannot be ignored. So I'm making this video to basically say I'm very happy with the Chicago Bulls' performance, and I'm very happy that we walked away with a win against the Milwaukee Bucks in Game 2. It does bring a lot of confidence heading into next season, in my opinion. I know we're not supposed to be thinking about next season, but knowing that whether we win the series or we lose this series, we got a win out of the Milwaukee Bucks, and there's a potential we could get more wins out of the Milwaukee Bucks. Milwaukee Bucks is special in my opinion considering this is our first NBA playoff experience. These things cannot be ignored and obviously we'll have to focus on them at another time. This is the last video I'm going to really mention the confidence and next season because this is currently where we are right now. This series is not over and we can't treat it as it's such. This team brought a level of confidence in, I guess, the fans that we haven't seen in quite some time. In all honesty, I didn't come into this playoff series expecting us to really compete or to really, I guess, show Milwaukee what we're capable of comparing to what they're capable of. Because I thought game one and game two, we stuck with them every single step of the way. I didn't expect that. I expected us to win a game. I expected us to maybe get to six. But the way that we've competed in both of those games is something I didn't expect and something I loved. I absolutely love making this a competitive series because it puts respect on our name and it makes sure Milwaukee will have to put respect on our name as well. They're not going to make it easy. We're not going to make it easy for them and they're definitely not making it easy for us. It's a series. This is what I love, competition. And it's good to see that we're still in the fight and we're still bringing our competition to one of the best teams in the NBA. Before I end this video as well, there are a couple of injury updates for Milwaukee that I do want to address. Obviously, Chris Middleton has a sprained uh, MCL. He's still going to take, I guess, an MRI later today, I assume. And we don't really know the outcome, but these types of injuries can take a long time to recover. And it puts Milwaukee or puts Chris Middleton in danger that he's going to be out for the remainder of this series at least. I don't wish injuries on anyone. I know this is, uh, for many of you guys, you think Milwaukee's one of the dirtiest teams in the NBA and you want to play physical and I understand all of that. And by no means we should not, we should be playing physical. We should always play physical with the Milwaukee Bucks because they're playing physical with us as well. It's the NBA playoffs. You've got to play physical. But I don't wish injury on anybody. I want to Milwaukee, I want this Bulls team to be as good as it can be in every single game because that brings the best competition out of us. And if we win the series with their best team, there's no excuses for Milwaukee if that was to happen. And of course, 
I hope I hope Chris Middleton gets um, better soon. Hopefully, he won't miss too much action if he does miss any action. And I low-key like the player. I like Chris Middleton. I think he's a great player. He's not a dirty player. He's a very talented player. Very good mid-range shooter. He obviously got hot in that game to um, performance. Made four threes in a quarter. He was great for them. And I really did enjoy his performance. And Bobby Portis, the former Chicago Bulls player, ended up having, uh, an, uh, I, I think it's an eye scratch. I don't know the exact term of it. But his eye started bleeding from a Tristan Thompson elbow. Uh, their referees couldn't go back and review the play because of some sort of foul, uh, some sort of rule. So he didn't get a flagrant or anything like that. Tristan Thompson did. Uh, at the end of the day, these things do happen as well. It's definitely not worse than what Grayson Allen did to Alex Caruso. By no means was it worse than that. But at the end of the day, it's an elbow to the face that caused someone to bleed. It, it, again, it's not the worst thing I've ever seen in the world, but it's definitely not something that you, I guess you're proud of. You don't, you not you shouldn't be proud of injuring someone, in my opinion. So, especially Bobby Portis, I know he loves to give it to the crowd, um, and he likes to hype the crowd up. But that's just who he is. I don't think that's because he has any hatred towards the Chicago Bulls. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm right. I don't know. But yeah, get well soon to Bobby Portis as well. I have a feeling he will be playing in Game Three, so we will get to see Bobby Portis back for the Milwaukee Bucks. And that's really all I've got to say on the situation. Game three is going to be coming up very soon. The United Center is going to be rocking. This is probably the game I'm most excited about, whether we were winning or losing this series, taking it to home court, seeing the United Center, first time in five years, be chanting for the Chicago Bulls. That crowd is going to be electric. And we're going to make a lot of noise. I think we're going to have a louder noise barrier compared to Milwaukee. I honestly do. Because we're desperate for this. We've been desperate for this for a, mo for a while. Milwaukee have been in the playoffs. They know what the atmosphere is. And every single year, they've come to expect it. Bulls fans are desperate for this. And we're finally going to get it in a couple of days' time. And I think the atmosphere is going to be insane. One of the loudest I'll probably hear in quite some time. So I'm confident. I'm happy. Um... I think we can keep that fight with Milwaukee. I think game three, Milwaukee are going to come back with a hunger to win the game, as Alex Crusoe said. And we've got to keep that same energy. We've got to stay hungry. We've got to stay focused. And we've got to make sure that the fans can give us all that support. And at the end of the day, I think the Bulls will do at least compete in the game. And hopefully we can walk away with the win. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in another Chicago Bulls video, ladies and gentlemen. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay tuned for more. Take care.